friends welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Sakila if you are new if you are not new how are you doing how have you been so this is um gonna be just a little bit of a talk we're just gonna talk that's what we're gonna do um, I'm gonna style this hair this hair is from mega look hair it is if you want to see the install of this hair and how you know I did my edges and that that's in my last video that I posted yesterday um, no I'm sorry it's not it's in my birthday hair video, a little swoop, side part, side bang, da 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 I'll leave it in the cards. Um, but yeah, so it's from Mega Look Hair. It is a, it was 16 inches. I cut it if you'll see it on a video. It's a straight wig, 16 inches, um, full, full 13 by full like this. The lace is all the way back on both sides. But yeah, so we're just going to style it while we talk. So, <clears throat> if you didn't know, I just turned 25. And, um, 25 is an interesting milestone. I kind of feel like I went through a slight, and I'm still kind of going through a slight quarter life crisis um, because when you're younger, you expect at this age to be in a certain place in your life, right? You think of 25 and you think children and marriage or at least career and um you know and stuff like that but here i am please uh, oh sorry let me let me let me disclaim this what why my lashes um i got them done for my birthday knowing full well that i wasn't gonna get a fill because i cannot afford it right now to keep up my lashes a little bit wonky allow it but um but yeah, so I'm in a word space because I'm 25 and I'm in school. I'm 25, I don't have a career, I don't have a stable job, I don't have an apartment. Like, you know, I stay in this, I stay here, which, you know, is nice, but I'm a uni student. If I wasn't a uni student, I wouldn't be living like this. I'd be living with my parents back in Bermuda. Um, I'm 25, I don't have, I'm not in a committed relationship i'm not looking like i'm getting married anytime soon i got no kids you know like life is just life is just life and you know what i'm saying like i'm just going with the day gonna flow and i don't really know how to feel about it i went through a slight bit of a a, a slight bit of like a uh I feel like I've wasted my time kind of moment um, kind of like should I have come to school <laughs> like should I have not done this should I have just went to school for what I was gonna originally go to school for that way I would have been here right now but then I'm like girl <clears throat> you'd be working but would you be happy you know what I'm saying it's also a question might have a job but would I be happy working um so I'm just in a weird kind of space right <clears throat> and people tell me like don't compare yourself to other people like you've got a lot of life ahead of you but when you see people your same age that have children and are engaged or married or you know in their career fields and making the five figure jobs and you know just doing all the things that you thought you'd be doing right now because I was such a good student in school like you know I was a math lover I thought I was gonna go into like insurance and stuff like that so for me now to be 25 and studying media <clears throat> never thought I would be here right so it's just a weird space to be in right so I'm just kind of trying to remind myself that my journey is my own and I am here because this is what I want to do with my life. I don't want to be miserable just working because I need money. You know what I'm saying? I want to work and do what I love. So on one hand, I'm like, damn, I wish I, one hand, I wish I, you know, just Went the quote unquote traditional route and studied a traditional degree. <clears throat> but then on the other hand, I probably wouldn't even be doing YouTube, you know? I wouldn't be here where I am right now. 
So it's kind of, it's a weird place to be in, I will say that much. <clears throat> I'm not the biggest fan of feeling like this, but either is what is. This is a disclaimer before I even start talking about this. I meant to do this before I started talking about this, and my hair is basically done. Um, this is not to confuse anybody. This is not to now come in and bash. This is not to do anything but me express myself. I don't need anybody to come and talk to me about this. If you're not going to come at me with love, if you're not going to come and just listen to me, even though I've said all I need to say in this video, but if you're not going to come and just listen, if you're going to come in and try and make me feel like I'm stupid or, you know what I'm saying? Because I know that there are some people from back home, family members and, and church members that are subscribed to my channel that might see this video. I'm going to promote it like I normally do with any other video, so people will see it. And, um... I'm not prepared for the I'm I'm nervous because I I don't want <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna lose I'm gonna lose friends and opportunities and stuff like that and this is just how I feel and that's it. So yeah. And then on top of me now being twenty five and feeling like uh I gotta draw my tree on something I can't see. I'm feeling like, who am I? I'm sorry, I'm feeling like, what am I doing? Have I wasted my life? I'm also like, who am I? You know what I'm saying? Who is Sakela? Excuse me, sorry. Who am I? What, what is it that I believe? Having a bit of a spiritual identity crisis, I'm feeling a bit like, not that I don't believe in God, <clears throat> but more like, do I believe in the Bible? Um, so basically, over these last couple of months, you know, with Black Lives Matter, you learn that there's a lot of stuff that is fed to us that um, we take as truth because it's all that we know, right? We take it as this is, this has to be the truth because this is what they're teaching us. Let me tell you what flipped the switch for me. When I learned that the maps that we've been looking at for our entire lives are not real, true to size, are fake, or have been doctored so that they um, fit a certain narrative, I said, wow, what else is a lie? Um, and then I also had learned that, um, I also had learned that the word homosexual was not uh, in the Bible to begin with. The word was pedophile when it got changed. Somebody paid for it to be changed from pedophile to homosexual. And then more recently, I learned that there's a scripture. Um, I can't remember if it was Paul. I don't want to say it was Paul. It could have been somebody else. But the scripture that says it's better to marry than to... Um, but you know that scripture people be saying like, the Bible says it's better to get married than to, you know, deal with lust, basically, right? Apparently, that was not inspired by the Holy Spirit. So now I'm just, I'm just sitting here like, okay... What about this book is real? What about this book is true? What about it is what can I believe, right? I've I've had this question in the past when I was probably like 19 years old. I asked this question and it wasn't really answered to me fully, but my understanding was just if it's supposed to be what we're reading, that's what we're reading, right? And I'm I'm in a place right now where I'm just a bit skeptical and it takes a lot for me to admit that because I've been a Christian my entire life. I grew up in a church. Um, all I've known is God. And again, this is not me saying that I don't believe in God because I 110% do. I know that God is real. Like, I know that God is real. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know that Jesus is real. I know that the Holy Spirit is real. But all I'm saying is I don't know how true the Bible is and that's just because there's a lot of stuff that is 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 given to us and a lot of information is controlled by a select few of people. And if they want a certain thing to be produced, if they want a certain mindset, a certain thought, a certain agenda to be pushed, they can make that happen. So I'm just in a weird space and there's a lot of things about Christendom and Christianity that I don't like. I don't wish to be called a Christian. I don't want to be associated with people who are Christians because Christians are unfortunately like the worst kind of people 
in the world, the most judgmental people in the world, when we actually should be the most lovable people in the world, so I don't quite understand that. Um, like, I just feel like we missed the mark on what it is to be a Christian. We missed what a true Christian is. We're very much concerned about the wrong stuff. And, you know, obviously, yes, righteousness and holiness and, and all of that good stuff, um, is all well and good but if we're gonna look at the bible and we're gonna read the bible i'm gonna listen to the bible the bible does say that above all else the commandment that god jesus wants us to keep is to love your neighbor as yourself right and um we as christians have a tendency to judge people based on their appearance based on their preference Based on a lot of things that, um, we shouldn't be judging. You know what I'm saying? Like, people judge me based on how I dress. People judge me because I have tattoos. Because I have my septum pierced. Because I wear certain, certain types of clothing. Um, because of how I talk. People judge me based on things that I feel like I shouldn't be judged on. And... I don't like that. I don't I don't like being judged by people that have no right to judge me. Um by people who are supposed to love me. I don't like feeling like an outcast by the people who are supposed to accept me. Like I was talking to uh my friend and it's 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 just like if Jesus was here right now when it comes to like pride parades and this this and this, wholeheartedly believe he'll be on the front row. And you wanna know why? Because human rights are right. Every, every human rights is not negotiable. We shouldn't be saying that these people don't deserve rights because of the life. Like, are they human? Are they human? But they don't deserve rights. Okay, cool. Um, I don't understand that. I should have wrote stuff down because I had a lot to say. But um, back to the whole Bible thing, I I don't know how to explain it. And people, like, my issue with, 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 with Christianity is um, when people have questions, questions are not answered. Somebody posed the question to me. Um, so if Jesus, I'm sorry, God, God has sent Satan. You know, Lucifer was in heaven with him, right? And then he got, he did what he did. He got all jealous and yada, yada, yada. I felt like he should be, had honcho, blah, blah, blah. Right, so God cast him into one, one second to the to the earth. This feels like it's going to lift. If it does, it does. Um, um, he cast him to the earth. Right, this is before we were we were here. So the question was posed to me, a Christian, because I will loudly proclaim that I believe in Jesus. And the question was, why would he do that? Um, why would God? Put the devil here, knowing he was going to put us here. You know what I'm saying? Like, my my guy, he look, he set us up for failure. Because you know who who the, you know who Satan is. You know what I'm saying? So why would you bring him, why would you place him in the place that you wanted us to be? Knowing what he is and who he is and how he operates. Why would you set us up for failure? You know what I'm saying? And I was like, it's a valid question, but I couldn't answer it. And um, there was another question that somebody asked me and I had posted it to somebody and they didn't have the answer. And I don't like, I used to always just say, you just have to wait till you get to heaven and ask them yourself. But yes, there are certain things because obviously it's God and God knows everything and we don't need to know everything. But there are certain questions that we should be able to answer because they're valid questions. People asking me about that, that's a valid question. It really had me thinking like, raw, like, wait, but why would he do that? Why would he not send this this destructive man, being, creature, whatever the hell you want to call him, why would he send him here knowing what he does and how he is? Why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you genuinely did set us up to fail because you know who this man is. You know how he be like. But now you're going to come in and, and put us here. And then there was also a conversation I had with I've only talked to two people about this, people that I feel like I can talk to about it and will judge me for how I feel or make me feel like 
um, you know, they don't judge me because I shouldn't be judged. I should be able to go to my Christian friends and talk to them about this and not feel like they're going to judge me for it, but I really feel like I would be judged. Um, but anyway, so I talked, I've only talked to people about this and um, one of my, my closest friends, my best friend, she was, she was saying even with, with, with um, versions of the Bible, why are there so many versions of the Bible? Right? And then there are certain versions that they contradict each other. And it's like, how can the Word of God itself and its all its different varieties be contradicting each other? Who is creating these versions? Who is deciding what goes in these books? Who is determining how this verse is supposed to be interpreted? Right? Cool. And then I also posed the question because there are different um, denominations, right? We all believe in the same Bible, right? So if we all believe in the same Bible, uh, my question is now, um, why do we believe different things? Who is hearing the wrong God? Because everybody is claiming to hear from God. There are certain churches that believe there should be no music in church. You know what I'm saying? There are certain Christians that think that you shouldn't get tattoos. Some that don't see an issue with it. There are some people that say that you shouldn't eat pork. You know what I'm saying? And then there are people that say it's not that deep. There are certain Christians that say you shouldn't you shouldn't worship on a Sunday, you should worship on a Saturday. What Bible are you reading? Who is not hearing the Bible correctly? You know what I'm saying? Who is correct in this situation? If we're all hearing from the same God and we're all reading the same Bible, should we not all be moving on the same accord? You know what I'm saying? So there's just a lot of stuff about the Bible and human beings, really, that I don't quite understand. And I've been feeling like this for a little bit. And the reason why I didn't want to talk about it and um, is because I don't want to now be ostracized. And I feel like it's going to happen, unfortunately. Like, I'm not going to be able to do a lot of the things that I was able to do before. Like, in terms of, like, being able to sing in church um, because of what I'm saying right now. Or, um... There was something else that I was going to say that I don't think I'll be able to do anymore. But I just feel like there are certain things that I wouldn't be able to do. Or I won't have the opportunity to hang out with some certain people anymore because they're not going to look at me a certain way and feel like they can't chew with me because of how I feel. And it sucks because, again, Christians are supposed to be this... Um, really lovely, really loving really um accepting people but truth be told the people that that bear the name of christ are the most hateful people that i have besides racist people that i have you know come across and it just is unfortunate it's really really unfortunate um so i just i'm just in a weird space i'm in a very I believe in God, but not, and I don't want to say that I don't believe in it, but I even told God, my, I said, Jesus, if you want me to read something, you have to literally spell it out for me, because I'm not getting in this book and just reading whatever, like, I need you to spell it out and tell me. Um, and my personal belief, which, again, controversial probably, is that, and it's, it's not me saying that righteousness and holiness are not important. Um, but I have issues with a lot of things. One being modesty in the Christian community. And the reason why I do is because this whole modesty culture, when it comes to Christianity and how heavily it's placed on women, um, it kind of sort of very much so perpetuates, perpetuates rape culture because it turns into he's lusting because of what you're wearing no he's lusting because he's dealing with that that's like saying oh if you didn't wear that then he wouldn't have wanted to rape you if you didn't wear that then he wouldn't look at you lustfully even i feel like even if a woman is covered completely up if a man wants to look at her a certain type of way he's going to look at her a certain type of way there are there are obviously in church settings there are certain things that you should or should not wear yes you know what i'm saying but it gets to the point where it's like when you're outside as a Christian, you still have to be mindful of 
every single person else that is around you. You should not wear this, this, and this because of this, this, and this. And I don't think that's fair because the same policing is not given to men. Um, there's this example that I have. Um, I had to, I had only second shows. I went to church. We had a rehearsal before we were recording because you know COVID. We were recording our services, and um, so we had the rehearsal. And I had on the shorts because my church is hot, and my minister, the minister, my 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 superior, I guess you could say, she asked me to change it to my clothes for the rehearsal, even though it's hot and I wear shorts for a purpose because it's hot. She asked me to change it to my clothes because she didn't give me an explanation. And that's one thing that I really don't like about you people, you people, Lord. I don't like about this is that you you will tell us what to do, but you don't tell us why to be after do it. You just say do it, just do it. And I was supposed to just be a okay character. Um, so I changed it to my I changed it to my jeans because whatever. But I was irritated because the reason the reason that she you're lying to me now because you're lying and all so good. The reason that she gave me was that she was gonna take pictures, which still don't understand up behind the scenes during the rehearsal. Still don't get why my segment shows are issue, right? But you didn't even take the pictures. But what baffles me the most is that the the week prior, I had on a, a, a skirt just below my knees, just as tight as the shorts. So it's the issue now that you can see like my knees and my calves, or what? Because it's the same level of tightness. It frustrates. It really, really frustrates me. I don't like people telling me what I can and cannot wear. I don't like people moving as if because I'm dressed a certain way, that means that I am no longer a Christian or I am not worthy of being a Christian. I should not call myself a Christian. I cannot be Christ-like because of how I dress. And and people project their own convictions, their own insecurities, their own issues onto other people, and it's not fair. And you're gonna and you and you and you cover it and you and you bring it to me under the guise of Christianity, under the guise of this is this is scripture, under the guise of this is biblical no it's you this is what you want it to be and i'm not here for it i'm not here for it you're not telling me who i can be but in other other than that um i just i don't know man i'm just in a very strange place of feeling like i can't i don't know what to believe because when you've grown up in in one environment 25 years I've been in this in this church thing, you know what I'm saying? My literally my whole life, as for as long as like since I was four, probably, as long as I can remember, I've gone to a church, whether it be SDA Seventh Day Adventist or if it was a Sunday church, I was at church for my whole life. And you believe a certain thing, and then you ask questions, and they don't get answered, and you kind of just tilt to just don't ask questions, just you know, run with it. Like you know, some questions don't need to be answered, and some questions do need to be answered. Some things you really need to know the answer to, or else you're gonna just feel like. You don't know what it is, you know what I'm saying? And you shouldn't feel confused about these things, man. You shouldn't feel confused about these things. There was something else that I wanted to say. So I'm having a bit of an identity crisis because, okay, this is what I was going to say. Um, When I got back, a couple weeks into it, I started manifesting. And I'm getting like this because it habit, right? Manifesting. Um, I wrote down the things that I wanted to come to pass, right? In terms of my YouTube and money I needed to save and yada yada yada. And um, some of those things have come to pass already. And as much as it's like, what I don't understand that people say, ooh, that's hot. What I don't understand that people say is so bad about manifestation. Um, manifestation has the exact same principles and ideologies of Christianity, but the only difference is, or what people say the only difference is, is that with manifesting, we don't believe that it's God that's doing it. Um, whereas for me, I do. I ain't saying that, again, this is not me saying I don't believe in God, my G. Like, this is, that's not what this is about. This is literally just me saying that I, I think we have the whole Christianity thing mixed up. That's where I was going, and that's what I feel like I was saying. I think that we're focusing, again, not that being righteous and holy is not the end goal, or, or what, what have you. But the purpose, Jesus' whole ministry was love, right? We we're showing people love, right? And that's what we are meant to do as Christians. But as Christians, all we do is judge people who do not live their life to the standard that you believe that we should live it to. Or you feel like this, this, and this. Like even I posted in my tattoo video and I didn't expect, not because I was naive to think that people wouldn't 
give me backlash but I just didn't expect for people to speak to me in the way that they did some people came to me in love and some people came to me like I was stupid like you know what I'm saying you have tattoos and now you got other people this this and this I've you know I haven't um kept all of those comments but like for people to you're not coming to me with love you're not trying to educate me on anything you're just or trying to show me a different perspective or whatever the case may be you're just coming and bashing me because of how I feel and now I'm not a Christian I'm not a true believer because I have tattoos or I believe that tattoos are not as bad of an of a, of a issue as, as y'all think that it is and even what I've learned if you do want to read the Bible yeah what I've learned is that you need to do your research yeah you can't just take the scripture and now say bang you need to know who was the person that wrote the book talking to what was the time period what were they doing why did he feel the need to why do you feel the need to have this conversation with these people and then you understand the context so without knowing the context you can't tell me in this 2020 that i cannot get a tattoo but that's beyond beside the point if you don't want to get one don't get one if you do then do don't piss me off but the whole purpose of christianity is to is to be kind and loving compassionate gentle patient all that good stuff right and i feel like we get too caught up in the don't sin part of it that we miss out on the part that will win souls the part that will get people to come and see jesus the part that will um draw people in because we're too busy trying to say what you're doing is wrong you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong you're healing you're a sinner. you're this you're this you're this right but what about god loves you anyway god loves you i love you Let's just go out for lunch. Let's just have something to eat. Let's just chill. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to come in and I'll talk to you about Jesus every time I see you. Um, My favorite story in the Bible, one of my favorite, my favorite story in the Bible is the story of Zacchaeus. Everybody know about Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was chief tax collector in his city or whatever. Jesus came. Zacchaeus climbed the tree. Jesus said, yeah, Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus, come down. We're going to your house. They went to his house. After one conversation with Jesus, Zacchaeus said, I don't want to be a thief anymore. I'm, I'm gonna give all these people back the stuff that I took from them because that's that's the power of love that's the power of Jesus right and I think we miss out on like understanding that that's the basis that's the foundation of this thing like that's that's where it starts and if you don't come to people with love if you don't talk to people with love if all you're doing is judging people then like where do you expect to get? Where do you expect to go? Where do you expect to move? Where do you expect to? How do you expect to 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 further this thing? If you're moving in a way that's not even the right way to move, like I just don't understand it, and so that's why I don't want people to call me a Christian, not because I don't believe in Christ, but because I don't want to be associated with those people. I don't want to be associated with Christians. I believe in. I love Jesus. That's it. End of story. That's it. Like I'm not a Christian. I'm sorry if you feel offended by me saying that, but I'm not. I don't want to be called one. I don't want anybody to associate me with, with people that are like that because Christian has a bad, it's a bad, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to someone now see me and, oh, she's a Christian, you know? Like, when people say, oh, you know what I'm saying? When you hurt Christian, it shouldn't be a, you shouldn't, it shouldn't make you feel a type of way, but it does. And not in a, like, convicting way. It makes you feel like, oh, Lord, here come this person that thinks my camera overheated so i had to let it cool down but so i don't remember oh, my legs hurt i'm in exercising oh my gosh so i don't know what i was saying um but i'm gonna end it i had a book in my nest this whole time and y'all didn't even tell me wow <laughs> i'm gonna end it with this i a few years back i sang this song I was asked to sing this song, but it's called Unchurched by Todd Delaney. And it's basically talking about how, you know, someone from the outside comes to the church, you know, because they want to come and see Jesus, right? So they come into the church and the people, the church folk, they're looking at him strange they're looking at him like he doesn't belong they're looking at him like he is an outsider and he shouldn't be here um and then he feels like he shouldn't stay like he should just get up and leave right people feel like that you know people come and they feel like that when they come to a church because they feel like i'm being judged 
and the reason why I was asked to sing that song is because I look different. I'm not a stereotypical Christian. I'm not a conventional Christian. I don't look like a conventional Christian. I look like a regular person, I guess. I don't know. But I don't look like if you didn't know that I believed in God, you wouldn't believe or you wouldn't think that I did. And I don't quite understand what a Christian looks like, but anyway. The song was just basically saying like, like all he wanted to do was go up and get prayed for. Like he just wanted to come and see Jesus and you have made him uncomfortable. You made him not want to. And that's the crux of the matter as a Christian. It's how are you showing, how are you showing Jesus to people? Because you like showing Jesus to people. You're showing yourselves. And you're coming and you're trying to move as if like, as, as if you're coming and you're saying what you're saying out of love. But you're really being just very, very judgmental. You know, and, and, and I've, I've been a part of conversations that are, that are gossipy. You know what I'm saying? That are talking about, laughing about people in Christian spaces. And you know, but you're going to look at me because I might want a glass of wine. Or you know, I might want to have a little drink. Or... But you're going to look at me and say, like, I'm, you're looking at me like I'm the worst person in the world. But you say, you're you gossiping, bro. Like, what's the difference? There's no difference. According to your Bible, there is no difference. So you need to stop placing certain sins on top of other sins. But that's not what this video is about. All I'm saying is that Sakila Justice doesn't know where she stands with the Bible. That's the whole point of this. I went on a whole rant and I guess I just wanted to talk. I do want to talk. I feel like I haven't talked to the camera in a very long time. Um, so yeah, that's where I am in my walk right now. It's, 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 am I walking? <laughs> I don't know what I, you know, I'm, to be frank, like, I'm kind of just here. Just trying to figure it out. I don't know. I, like I said, I know that God is real. I know that Jesus is real. I know the Holy Spirit is real. But the book just makes me a bit uncomfortable a little bit. Just a little bit. And that's just the truth. I don't know what type of response this is going to get. And, but yeah, guys. Um, someone had even asked. People have been asking me for faith-based content. And I'm just like, my mom's sorry. It's not coming back. Not anytime soon. I have to sort this out first. <laughs> as much as I would like to do it, it wouldn't come from a genuine place. And again, it's not because... It's just the Bible a little bit for me right now, so don't think I don't believe in God, cause I do. Don't think I don't. Don't think I don't, cause I do. <laughs> but um, yeah. So this is the little hairstyle that I did, just a little slip, little slip, a little swift, little cute half up, half down situation. You know what I'm saying? Real cute, real nice. From Megala Care, like I said, all links will be in the description box. Thank you to them for sponsoring. Not really sponsoring this video, but thank you to them for sending me this unit. Um, and yeah, if you want to talk to me nicely, talk to me nice, then leave me a comment and we can chat about this. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you know you want to leave it with me. Turn on post notifications. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Check you later. <laughs>